World War II problems, back to those winding down. Our return to normalcy, we were now hammering our uh, swords into plowshares rather the, than the other way around. But Rosie, who had been very happy with her job, didn't the with, with her job during the war, did not want to return to her normalcy. She wanted to keep her checkbook and her own money. A lot of blacks did not want to return to normalcy if that meant going back to what they knew before the war. War production ceases, industry tools down, We've got a lot of servicemen returning. We've already mentioned that the Servicemen's Readjust Readjustment Act results in the swelling of college ranks. The Cold War, another post-World War II problem, arises from World War II settlements. Uh, a couple of the countries had been divided the one that gave the most immediate problem uh, was Korea. The, the Russians, the USSR at the time, had been uh, given control of North Korea and the Americans the control of South Korea. So uh, when, when disputes happened, when tempers flared, when shots were fired, we found ourselves uh, involved in something that uh, People really didn't want to call a war. Uh, one of the phrases that was used was police action, uh, but that uh, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it surely must be a duck. Uh, people were being killed there. I suspect it was a war. MacArthur versus Truman. Uh, General MacArthur said he would uh, have the boys home for Christmas and had the North Korean army on the run. The North Korean army uh, hid by running into Manchuria, which was part of China. MacArthur wanted to go in after them, and Truman refused to let MacArthur do that. No, we don't want to go into China. That's a different country. We're crossing a border. That's going to get us into more trouble than we're in right now. The frustration and conflict over, and the, these were MacArthur's words, not being allowed to win it, and all the griping going on in the press and, in, and in, on TV even, yes, TV had been invented by now, leads to MacArthur's removal. We also have economic troubles alluded to earlier, labor unrest and striking unions, many of which had waited until after the war. More on Korea. Eisenhower, Dwight D. Eisenhower, who had been the commander of the European combined forces, was elected president in 1952. Now, this may sound strange to you. Uh, Eisenhower was the first Republican president that I had ever, let's say, experienced. I was born during <coughs> Roosevelt, lived through Roosevelt, Truman. Now Eisenhower is my first Republican. The fighting ended, I have that in question marks because if you talk to some people today, the fighting is still going on. It's just not being covered as uh, mightily as it was in, year, in years past. The fighting supposedly ended in 1953 and every mother in the world loved Eisenhower because he brought the boys Home. It looks like we got some color uh, discrepancies here. We've talked about Korea. Uh, the next thing on the agenda is uh, a round of red hunts again. And by that I mean uh, trying to find communists here 
uh, in America. Senator Joseph McCarthy was a Republican from Wisconsin. He was charged uh, and made the chair of a committee for, uh, I guess it was the Committee on Un-American Activities uh, that was charged with finding people who were disloyal to the United States. Uh, by the time McCarthy was through, 30 states had enacted loyalty oaths for teachers. Moving on, uh, civil rights stirrings. Again, these are things we've, we've alluded to earlier. We're coming to touch upon. To secure these rights was a document produced by the President's Committee on Civil Rights in 1947. It guaranteed rights to black Americans, but they were largely unheeded, leading to the situation in Brown versus the Board of Education, which I'm sure you have heard of. This was a Supreme Court case in 1954. It was called Black Monday in the South, a little play on words there. In the ruling, separate, well, let's go back. Plessy versus Ferguson was a court case near the end of the previous century. I want to say 1897-ish. Uh, in that particular ruling, uh, separate facilities were, were determined to be legal. The Brown versus Board of Education decision maintained that separate is inherently unequal. Now, that got a lot of black flack and caused a lot of concern. Next year, 1955, Brown II was passed. Brown II stipulated that school desegregation should proceed with all deliberate speed. Now that's 1955. By 1963, only 2% of Southern blacks were attending school with whites. So you can see it had not been uh, undertaken with all deliberate speed at all. <clears throat> 